Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So it's that time of year again when some of the plants have to be brought indoors to overwinter. They've had their last watering of the year and will go until about April next year before being watered when the growing season starts again. Yeah, this summer has certainly gone by quickly. Didn't seem that long ago when I was bringing them all out here. Time to get some of them in now though, as temperatures are starting to drop here at night. It's already dipped below 10C in here on a couple of nights, and there's some plants in here that won't like that too much. Like some of the Euphorbia, those definitely have to come indoors today. Got a few late bloomers, Mammalaria boccasana there. And there's Gymnocalesium fredericci. So some plants are going to stay in the greenhouse this winter, but I'm going to put them inside a coal frame to give them some extra protection. This is the coal frame that I got today. So I'll get this put together, we'll give it a coat of wood preserver as well to give it some extra protection. And this will go on the shelving in the greenhouse. So it'll be like having a greenhouse within a greenhouse. Also got some fleece, so if we get some very cold weather I can cover the coal frame with this to give the plants some added protection. So before bringing the plants in, I've got to check each one for pests. Not just on the plants themselves, but underneath the pots, underneath the rims of the pots, anywhere beasties might be hiding. Don't want to be bringing things like mealybugs indoors or slugs and snails. I've also got to double check a few of them to see if they are cold hardy as well. There's some I'm a bit unsure about, so we'll check some info online to see if they'll be safe being left outside. So yeah, lots to do over the next few days, so I shall make a start on getting the coal frame put together getting the plants in and showing you where they'll be overwintered and what ones will be staying out. So that's the coal frame put together and painted. It's actually bigger than I thought. Should be able to get a nice amount of plants inside there. Very easy to put together as well. I'll put the Amazon link in the description below if you're interested. I'm not affiliated with the company that makes this coal frame or anything, but if you want to check it out, then the link will be there. So I'll let this dry for a bit and while it's drying I can start bringing some of the plants indoors. Right, this is all the plants I've brought in, all checked over for pests. Got them on a south facing window. I've had them here the year before last and they overwintered pretty well here. Gets plenty of light and stays nice and cool. Probably are a few here that would be fine being left out in the greenhouse, but better to be safe than sorry. So I'll get the shelving area in the greenhouse sorted out now, get the coal frame put in and show you what plants will be staying out. So I've given the shelving a clean and laid some bubble wrap out for some extra insulation because there's no bottom to this coal frame. So I'll get that put in now and put the plants inside and show you once I'm all done. So these are the plants that will be overwintered in here. Pretty confident most of these will be fine. I did look them up and they can all take pretty low temperatures. Like I said earlier though, I have the fleece as well to cover them if it does get very cold. And plenty of bubble wrap as well, so I can always put some of that over the coal frame as well. And hopefully a lot of these will flower nicely next year. If there are any here that you think isn't a good idea to leave out for the winter, do let me know though. There are a few like the Echinopsis subdenudata and the Echeveria I'm a little unsure about. Some websites said they can take low temperatures and a few others said it's better not to expose them to temperatures below zero. So yeah, let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this overwintering video. Let me know as well how you overwinter your plants, whether you bring them in or leave them out. 
I know some of you don't have to worry about cold winters, but here in the UK it can get pretty cold over the winter months. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well, so you know whenever I upload a new video. You will be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salam Pop Alam. Bye for now.